So I've talked about how I think crawling is uh, better than push-ups, but, you know, sometimes push-ups are good too. I forgot how fun push-ups can be. So I did a couple today, and I think I might alternate between crawling and doing push-ups to see which one I like better. So today was kind of a medium day. I'll try to hit as many of these as I can in a row before I need to recover. Um, I wasn't feeling too fresh. I wanted to do some backflips, but when I was doing those flares, I just was not feeling quite... I uh, wasn't feeling quite ready to do anything too intense. So here I was doing some... Just some coordination, some balance, walking on some precarious beams. And uh, I've walked on these before, but they have gotten looser and looser over the you know, over the years. So I think this might be the last time I walk on these because they're starting to wobble. And not this step, but the next step, I was really starting to feel it that uh, I was getting kind of scared because they were a little wobbly. And I was like, oh no, I'm up here if I fall and... If I land on this beam, it's going to be a little hurt. So I just jumped off. I fell off, actually. So here, just do a, a flow, starting with leg, starting by putting some tension through the legs. Now, it's important to get bare, uh, get barefoot if you wear a lot of conventional shoes to strengthen the feet and the toes. It's the extremities of the bodies that really help out during... Uh, that I've heard... So there's a lot of just seeing some scientific studies saying that you know your grip strength and your toe strength are important as you as the age gracefully. Um, the toe strength specifically for balance to prevent falling, and grip strength just uh, general upper body strength. Kind of the same thing. I ha I have a pretty similar idea when it comes to training. I I, I think of it as either training the prime movers like your butt or your shoulders core or the, the the edges like your fingers hands and feet and, and ankles and toes and feet the in-between stuff is important that those are the ones that often get the most sore like your elbows and knees <clears throat> and, the, and then the middle which is like the elbows and knees so those are like the three kind of sections I think about which uh, does leave out the neck and head so I don't know exactly where that falls in my mental model isn't completely perfect, but if you made it this far, you know, you're into training, into fitness, into nature, into self-improvement, physical, mental training, anything like that, any of those things resonate with you, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, and, sub and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think push-ups or crawling? Have you done either? Have you even done crawling? Have you ever done push-ups? Both of them can regress and progress to any level. Uh, with push-ups, you know, you can start against the wall or crawling. You can do any easy version. If you lie down, you can crawl somewhat. Now, when, I, when I'm, I'm thinking of progressing the push-ups, not only with just um, adding more repetitions, but I'm thinking about hitting a, a freeze in between. Just do a different kind of low balance in between. Maybe a baby freeze, a uh, air chair, or air baby. In between the push-ups, I mean, oh, I I go between the tuck planche, the push-up, and then the freeze position of my choice. Here, I think I get to a nice little bit of balance here, working the overbalance. Wasn't the best, but thanks for watching. I have more training for you tomorrow.